Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Heat Press Nation Live. As you can see, I'm not at I'm not on set today. Bummer, right? Well, crazy thing happened. I woke up with a sore throat uh, and a little sniffle, a little sniffly uh, yesterday. And so out of an abundance of caution, we got tested again. And uh, and that's the right thing to do. At first, I was a little upset because I was like, oh, man, this is such a, a hassle. How inconvenient. But you know what? A little inconvenience just to make sure everybody's safe. It's not really a problem for me after all. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining us uh, again. I'm super excited. going to share a, a really fun uh, project with you guys today. Today, we're going to be showing you how you can turn a drawing into a usable cut file for a t-shirt so i know we got a lot of good artists out there some of you guys have some crazy good skills i'm gonna warn you right now my drawing skills are, are not that they're not that great so this is not a drawing tutorial this is how to get your drawing from paper to t-shirt tutorial all right um oh cool we got everybody ch tuning in already i was about to say tuning in like a british person um, we got Pablo Rivera saying hello from El Paso. What's up? Tracy from Kentucky. Rosie from Coarse Gold. Oh, California. Woo woo. California in the house. Uh, Monique from Wisconsin. Dreda from LA. Okay, what's up? Lakers are in the finals. Yes, Los Angeles is in the house. And then, yeah, everybody, everybody's tuning in. And actually, because I'm back on my desk, I have to get the YouTube comments from... My phone want to give out some going to give some love to our YouTube family out there who's watching. Thank you guys so much for uh for joining us here. Uh oh cool. Teresa Walter says she just got her new heat press. Haven't used it yet. Oh, well, hopefully you'll get to using it soon. If you have any questions, uh please be sure to drop them in the comments. Uh Desire King says, "What's up, bro? My first time being here from the 818 Valley." There we go. We got Allie. Allie is in the house. I had to rip my Lakers today, dude, like, they're in the finals, it's been a crazy season, but, uh, it's, man, it's been exciting, uh, we got South Jersey in the house, thank you, Rebecca, what's up, cool, cool, everybody's tuning in today, we got, we got Birmingham, UK, oh, I apologize for the, for the British joke, I said Tuesday, I made a Tuesday joke earlier, but, man, I apologize, we're international today, Carlos is coming in from Utah, Donna Mae from Union City. How cool is that? Everybody, uh, you guys, it's so awesome to have you. Oh, we got Sharon from New Zealand. What? It's like, I'm not, is it tomorrow for you or is it yesterday? I always forget how the international uh, dateline works. But Sharon's probably watching from tomorrow. <laughs> watching us right now. That's so cool. We got Marcella from Minnesota. Uh, there we go. Kevin also from El Paso. How cool. Nikki from Illinois. Man, everybody is just from everywhere today. I love it. I love it. I love it. So today, again, if you're just tuning in, we're going to show you how to turn a drawing into a t-shirt. Now, I don't have all my equipment set up, so we're going to do, uh, do the hard part. I'm trusting you guys know how to heat press vinyl, and if not, we have lots of great tutorials on our YouTube channel. Um, so let's make this a little fun. What do you guys want me to draw today? Now, keep in mind, I have, I have my sketch pad right here. Now, keep in mind, um, it's blank, so this isn't like pre-done um what do you guys feel like seeing me mess up on today i think that's the better question what should i be messing up on today because like i said i'm not the best artist and today is not a drawing to like you're not gonna like i, I don't know if you guys have been to uh, disneyland uh at california adventure they have this like animation academy where they show you how to sketch some of the most popular characters this is not that all right this is not that i'm going to show you how to get the sketch into your computer sent to your cutter onto a t-shirt that's what we're learning today so what do you want to see we got oh gosh cindy's saying i should draw fred flintstone here let me see what's going on over here boondocks okay let okay i need to lower your guys expectations even further what's a more what would you ask your five-year-old to draw how about that <laughs> what would you ask your? let's see we got oh pikachu i could draw a really terrible pikachu and i don't think i'll get in trouble for any sort of uh, copyright because it'll look so ugly that the Pokemon people will never, ever know it was Pikachu. So Pikachu's on the top of my list right now. What else? Okay, a pumpkin thing. Donna, 
God bless you. A pumpkin, she said. I think I could do that. LeBron caricature. See, if I try to draw LeBron, the only way you'll know it's LeBron is because it's going to have a 23 on the jersey, all right? Um, a butterfly. See, these... Thank you, Cindy. See, these people, they know what five-year-olds can draw. They have kids. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do a stick figure. Don't be a... Don't be bothered. <laughs> okay, let's see. Flower, a skull and crossbones. Okay, there we go. My punk rock buddy, you know, I think I'm going to go for the skull and crossbones today. Now, here's what's cool. If you have a blank sheet of paper and you want to follow along, I'm going to be doing this in Silhouette Studio. I might show you how dumb I am in Adobe Illustrator. So, if you if you want to try follow along, you guys are more than welcome to. Uh, and you don't have to draw what I'm drawing. I'm probably going to end up drawing the skull and cross crossbones because I think I could draw that. Um... But we'll see. I have my pencil first, and then afterwards, I'm going to trace it with a marker to help it come out best on the photo. And what am I going to use to take the picture? I'm just going to use my phone. All right? If you have a scanner, that's cool. But I'm going to show you really the easiest way to get your images onto the computer. So let's get started. We don't have a ton of time today. I usually start at 10. I started a little bit late today. My bad. So let's... Uh, oh, Frankenstein. Dang, that's a cool one, too. Stick man with a square head. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to do the skull and the crossbones. You guys can follow along with whatever you're going to do. And while you can't see like the drawing live, uh, I'm going to make it quick so you're not just staring at me, staring at my page. So really quick here. And you know, I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm, I'm not even going to trace it with a pencil. What, you would, what I would recommend you do is draw whatever you can draw with a pencil and then trace it with your permanent marker. I'm just going to go straight for it, because I don't want to waste your guys' time. I know you guys got places to go. Very grateful that you guys joined me here at Heat Press Nation Live. And this is probably going to be the most asymmetrical skull and crossbones that has ever lived. Oh, this is terrible. This is already ugly. I. What are you guys working on? Oh, no. That looks like some... Oh, gosh. That looks like something else. Jeez Louise. You know what? These... I'm going to ditch the skull and crossbones because the bones are, are really looking like something else. So, sorry about that, guys. I don't want to... This has to be safe for kids. So, I'm a, t I'm a terrible artist. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with Frankenstein. Going for Frankenstein. All right. Now, Frankenstein's easy, and you can see I, I'm back to my blank page. You guys do not want to see what those crossbones look like. I mean, you can imagine. Ugh. All right, so let's do Frankenstein really quick here. Uh, the cool thing about Frankenstein is that he has, like, a squared-off head. He has some bolts in the neck. And he has a pretty cool haircut. And it's a flat top. We're going to give him some sideburns just because we can, right? So here's my Frankenstein so far. I want you guys to see it there. Wait. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. There's my Frankenstein so far. All right. And so, yeah. So what's... And, and you know what? It's almost Halloween. We're going to do Frankenstein. Um, Got to give him a... Like, he has, like, an open... Like, <sighs> we're going to give him a little open mouth. Right? Fill that in there. And I hope you guys are following along. I hope you guys are drawing something of your own likings. Um, I'm going to give him some dead eyes. And I don't really know how to do that. So we're just going to go simple. Simple. 
This is a confused Frankenstein. See, another place where I always mess up is you're supposed to use the eyebrows for expression. But this guy, like, I, I don't know what I was thinking with his eyebrows. All right? Like, and I'm going to hurry this along because I know I know we got, there's more to it than just the drawing part. Uh, so let's just uh, fill in his hair as best I can. And here, here's the reason why I'm using a permanent marker, by the way. You want to have it, all you, you want all the dark parts to be solid dark and all the white parts to be solid white. What you don't want to do is sketch this on a piece of lined paper. I actually really love graph paper for my doodles and, and whatever, uh, whenever I'm messing around. So you can see I, I'm filling in Frankenstein, I'm filling in his hair now. So you want that to be filled in solid. Um, let's see if I can just do this quick. You want it to be solid. You don't want to leave any blank spaces because the computer, ha we're going to, I'm going to show you right now how we can, it's going to trace it. So the computer is literally going to trace it and all the dark parts, it's going to render those as a shape, a usable shape. Now you guys know that you can't send a JPEG to cut. You got to trace it. You got to process it. Like the, it has to be a shape that the computer can actually read and turn into something. So as you can see, I'm still doing the work. This is the long part. I'm just filling in Frankenstein's hair. Right. It's not the worst Frankenstein in the world, but you know what? It's not the best. So I'm, I'm just filling in his hair. So you guys, I guess that's another thing to consider. Maybe don't put in too much of a, of a solid space. I probably could have made his hair a little shorter. This Frankenstein has some style. He's a Frankenstein like from the 80s or something. Okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. I know this is not a drawing tutorial. You guys want to get to the good parts, right? Yes. Okay, so my Frankenstein is done. All right, this is, this is a whack Frankenstein. Like, I'm going to be real with you guys. This is not a good Frankenstein, okay? But now here comes the fun part. So... Sketching is done. So what you're going to want to do now, once your sketch is done, is you're going to want to take a picture of it. And I love iPhones because they do pretty good quality pictures. So as long as you're in a well-lit room, you shouldn't have any problems. And so I'm going to take a picture of my Frankenstein, and you can see there. I just took a picture of my Frankenstein, and now I'm going to crop it. And I've just found it's easiest to, to just crop it on your phone to where it's just the... Because the computer, again, we're, gonna, we're about to trace this right now. So you don't want it tracing like the spine of your sketchbook like me uh, or anything like that done. So now I've cropped it to where it is just my ugly, terrible Frankenstein. Jeez Louise. This is really nasty. Like, it's just horrible, horrible. My kindergarten teacher would be not proud. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is, and you could do this however you want to. Uh, you could email yourself the picture. I have um, AirDrop. So I'm just going to AirDrop it to my own computer. If that'll work. I don't know how to get this to work. Did it work? Let's see. So I'm going to airdrop it to my computer. I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that over to my thing. And now you guys get to see my screen. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this in in uh, Silhouette Studio first.
Sorry, guys. I just realized that none of you guys heard what I was saying right now. And that's why I like going back to set. That's why I don't like doing these from home anymore. It's because I always manage to ruin something with the sound. So give me a second. I've, I'm so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Give me just one second. I just got to fix a setting here. Uh, really quick. Am I back? Yes, I'm back. Okay. Oh, boy. I, I really apologize about that, guys. Uh, again, this is what happens when I do things from home. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to run it through again so we can have audio for that whole process. So first things first. I'm going to get my image and what I'm doing is I'm going to I'm going to just drag it. I have a you, you can't see my finder window, but I'm just you see how I'm just dragging the image over. Just drag and drop. Boom. And here's my ugly <laughs> abomination of a Frankenstein, right? The only reason you know he's Frankenstein is cuz he has the bolts in the neck. All right. That's it's oh, it's terrible. Anyways, we're going to open the trace panel, which is here on the right. We're going to click on select the trace area. And that's going to allow us to draw a box around our Frankenstein. I think I clipped the, the top of his flat top there. Or not so flat top. There we go. Now everything is filled in with yellow. You can see a couple spots right here. Not if you could see them, but I could for sure see them. Where I didn't color in hard enough. So if I adjust the threshold... It'll fill those in. I might lose a little resolution or it might start to pick up some grain from other parts of the image that I don't want. Uh, and that's on me. That's because I didn't, I was just speeding through filling in his hair where I left some parts lighter than others. So I'm going to trace that. And when you hit trace, we could delete this. And when you hit trace, you're left with this, a usable cut file. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to fill it in so you guys can see uh, what I mean. And I'm going to fill him in green for whatever reason. And now we could resize him to a usable shape. Why anyone would want this on a t-shirt is beyond me. Again, I'm trusting that you guys are, are way better uh, artists than I am. Because this, this, is just, this is just terrible. Could resize this. And then, of course, we're in Silhouette Studio. So we could really do whatever we want. And if people don't understand what it is, um, you, could, you could tell them, of course. That's the worst kind of... That's the worst. Oops. That's the worst kind of costume, right? Where you have to explain to everybody who you are. Like, I don't know. Like, either you picked something a little bit too deep to where people don't understand, or maybe your costume's not that good. I don't know. I don't, like. To me, if people have to ask, I do feel a little, a little dumb. There we go. That's a cool font, Frankenstein. Okay. So that's how we do it in Silhouette Studio. Now, I am going to open it up in Adobe Illustrator. And this is, you guys, there are way better tutorials than what you're about to see. But just for the sake of, sake of showing you how easy it is to get a usable vector file, uh, we're going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to check really quick for any questions here. Oh, Elena says, the best feature ever. I love using this for all sorts of stuff. Yes, the, the, uh, the, um, what do you call it? The trace feature is killer. Okay, so we're just going to create new here in Adobe Illustrator. And I'm going to go for a letter size. And my computer's running really slow. And in fact, I may not, pro if it starts to kill my, video quality, I may have to just cut Illustrator because it's such a big program. You know, you could tell I didn't think this through. Okay, so we're going to create. There we go. Boom. All right. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag in the exact same image uh, that I had. And it might come out just super, yep, super gigantic. So let me zoom out really quick here and uh, get this to a, oh, I know, you know what? So, so there's a couple things that you could do right here. You could see I already have it. I have image trace here, uh, low fidelity photo. Oh, tracing may proceed slowly with the large image. Yes, I don't want it to be this large. So I will have to shrink it, make it kind of more manageable. 
because I need all the processing power I can get on my computer right now. So uh, we're just going to image trays, low fidelity photo. And so sometimes the presets, I'm going to let that think for a second. We're just going to let this computer think for a quick second. <laughs> Cindy says, are you sure you didn't just do a self-portrait? Ah! <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Um... Oh, that's a good point. LPS is saying the bolts are silver or gray. Color the face screen. Add some color to the picture. Yes, that's totally true. I could have done a way better job on that. Oh, Desire saying I'm grateful as well for you taking your time to show new guys tips and tricks, bro. For real, much love. Man, you know what? Thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys uh, are having a good time watching this here. And I got to zoom back in now. It looks like... Oh. Okay, so I, I traced with too many colors. I forgot. Only do a two-color trace. Okay, so give me a second. Black and white logo. There we go. And that's going to make it just a two-color image. When you're tracing stuff like Illustrator, it's very... There we go. And so now this is this is ready to go. I have a usable vector file right here. Ready to go. It's that simple. Uh, there's a couple other options if you don't have, because uh, I have it like set up down here in my quick actions. Um, of course, I also have image trace up here where you can get a little bit more advanced with it. Actually, let's, I'm going to undo out of there. Just hitting Control Z a couple times, or Apple Z. There we go. Get back to my ugly drawing. Okay, so I'm going to click on this, and now I have, see I have image trace up here, I believe. And see, I'm so cheap at Illustrator that I had to set up like shortcuts for myself. Um, just because <laughs> I'm really bad at a lot of things. There we go. Object, image trace, make it, you, can, you know, you have that stuff. Um, but for me, do I still have my presets here? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, my presets are right here. So I usually just go for black and white logo. I, and I don't really go past that. Again, I'm not an Illustrator Pro, but just so you can see how quick it can be in other programs, I did want to show you guys that as well. And then, of course, once you're in Illustrator, and let's uh, uh, let's just hit Trace one more time, uh, you're going to want to save it depending on what you're working on. Um, so if you have, like, Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, you could save this as an SVG, so you're, uh, you know, save as, and I might have to... There we go. So you could save it as uh, an SVG or Adobe PDF. I'm usually saving as PDF because that's just my preference. Of course, you guys could do whatever you want. Man, I don't want to save this abomination of a Frankenstein. But it's that quick, you guys. I think today's really, I just want to show you how quick it is once you actually get it from the, to, to get it from paper to screen. And then once you get it into your cutting software, you could put it wherever you want. So this, I know this is really going to be helpful for you guys who have, who are good artists. Uh, obviously this, I am a terrible artist. All right. So if you're watching to learn how, to, if you were watching today to learn how to draw Frankenstein, I failed you miserably. But if you have some cool art or if you're really great at hand-drawn illustrations, but you, and you want to move that over to t-shirts, it's so easy. Uh, I do it in Silhouette Studio because I know a lot of our viewers are using Silhouette Studio. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably better than me at Adobe Illustrator, and you have way better techniques for getting, like, fi for fine-tuning it and stuff. More power to you guys. I I've been meaning to get better at Illustrator, but kind of at, I'm at where I'm at right now. Um, but, what, but mainly what we wanted to show you guys today was how quick it is uh, to get hand-drawn elements onto your t-shirts. I'm excited to see what you guys are going to do with this. Uh, every week we were running a con... We, it used to be post of the week, and actually uh, someone reminded me yesterday, we ended post of the week without announcing a winner. So if you're watching right now, uh, we're going to announce the, the, the final post of the week. We got to get them their prize, so my bad on that. Um, but, uh, but now we're doing it in the comments. All you got to do is just comment it, and everyone can vote. That way it's no longer limited to just three people. Uh, if you want to the chance to win you just anyone can comment their project and everyone can still vote on it uh which is really cool 
So, yeah, so that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go today. I'm sure you guys have to work. I know. I still actually I have to go get a – I'm going I'm going to get my COVID test in about, uh, I think, like half an hour or something like that. Anyways, um, but I hope you guys are safe. I hope everybody is staying safe out there, um, you know, washing hands and, and whatever, doing whatever it takes to, to, to just get through safely, guys. Uh, I, I hope you guys have a great afternoon, great day. And uh, we'll see you this Friday. We do have a uh, full-length, more expanded, more in-depth webinar coming at you this Friday. So make sure you tune in for that. Uh, otherwise, that's going to do it for me, you guys. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you around.